Hello and welcome to the production card challenge at Okayama. We are in the Mazda as usual and uh, we got a couple different classes in here today um, you know that are actually occupied. We've got uh, the Mustangs, got a nice handful and uh, a billion Mazdas and then we got a pair of Jettas they'll actually have someone to race against and um, just one more Solstice. So each class has, has something to race for, at least, here today. Had decent participation. Had uh, 80 people signed up. So, uh, not too bad. Too bad at all. We've got our setup from Major's Garage. And uh, I'm so bad on cold tires. So, I'm going to do my best to survive that portion of the race. And uh, if we can get past that, I think I'm feeling pretty good. About my pace and such, I just uh, gotta remain consistent and everything. And uh, production car challenge can be pretty messy sometimes, so always gotta keep that in mind. I'm not gonna be surprised if it gets messy. So, um, we're gonna expect it and then be pleasantly surprised if it doesn't happen. That's how I'm gonna have to go about it. But. That's the thing with the series. It's either really messy and awful, or you get a really darn good race. Because I've had some fantastic races in the series before, so that's why I keep coming back. Even if it uh, becomes the production circus challenge. But, just going to do our outlap here, and not do anything dumb and get it off track or spin it because of the cold tires. Really easy to uh, get oversteer while letting off the gas on the cold tires, so taking it kind of easy. Uh, we are unfortunately the highest ranked Mazda and the second highest ranked person overall. I think there is a Mustang, I believe it was, that's ranked higher than us. But that's it. I was hoping that maybe that wouldn't be the case. Maybe we would have uh, some faster guys in here to go against. Not that not that I'm, that's going to be a problem. I think there's going to be faster guys than me anyway. Flag, but, um, you know, just for the sake of not losing a 100 I rating if I crash in the first corner okay. or something. <laughs> but, you know, used to it by now. That's just kind of how it goes. So, lap one. This is the first one that counts. Kind of awkward there, but it works. Keep it in second there. Still got to be kind of careful. Be, uh, be smart with the throttle, kind of managing cold tires and everything. Take this corner a different way every time I take it. <laughs> Seems how it goes. Every time I go, I go through there, it was like I take it differently. But always kind of works out, so whatever. Gonna break at the uh, 100 marker here into this big braking zone. And uh, very tricky on cold tires here, probably one of the trickiest parts on the track. Really got to be careful with it. Really any time in the race, but especially on the cold tires, because that's what I was talking about. The uh, oversteer you get while lifting off the throttle. Very, uh, comes into play. Comes into play very much right there, so. This corner, interestingly enough, I don't even use the brakes. Just lift off with the, uh... Let it get turned while I get off the throttle. Seems to always work out for me. Alright, not too bad. Could have pushed a little harder, but I uh, was looking to be smooth there. One more lap. And so now that we've got a lap in, maybe we can push a little harder this time. A little bit too hard. I'm gonna try doing a third gear here. I've been experimenting with that a little bit. I don't think that's what I want to do though. I think keeping it in second gear is the way to go. Just been experimenting a little bit. Hey, that went pretty well that time. I like how that felt. Yeah, that was pretty good. I like that. If I could do that every time, that'd be great, but pretty hard to hit your marks perfectly on that corner, consistently. 
Unless you're someone that's not me, I guess. Okay, let's see if we can push through here a little bit harder this time. The tires are warmed up a little more. Kind of got on the limit a little bit much there. But it's fine. Overdrove that part of it, though. That's going to lose us time. 50 marker breaking zone here. Drove it in a little bit harder than normal. I think it worked out pretty darn well. Hey, nice. The leader has just done a Overdrove that though, because I probably probably because I was going faster through that part of the course than I normally am because of the good corner before. Push through there harder this time. Hey, I think this will actually be a faster lap. Session best. Yeah, we're about a tenth up. Nice. Apparently we're going to need to be because we are 7th at the moment. 6th. Sixth. Sixth the Yikes, I thought I'd be a little bit better than that. We have work to do. Apparently. Yeah, I definitely should have stayed in 2nd gear there. That probably lost me a lot of time because there's a lot of full throttle time after that little part there. Too bad though, because I hit this portion pretty well, I think, during my lap. I'll stay out here and race around a little bit. Oh yeah, I also have to remember I never take the fuel out for qualifying either, or have a qualifying specific setup, so I'm kind of dealing with that as well. Got guys who maybe have a specific qualifying setup, and we like to take the uh, fuel out and stuff, probably helping them make faster times. Oh boy, an excuse for my slowness. Always love to blame things that are things that are not me. <laughs> so, yeah, could be a lot faster, but long race, and I uh, feel like I can keep it on track at least. 23 with a very nice lap. Do these go 12 or 13 laps? That would depend on how fast the lead the leader goes, right? <laughs> Because it's a time race. It would depend, wouldn't it? I don't actually know the answer to that. So just kind of half paying attention while I do some laps here. Only 13 seconds. Not too long to wait. And we can get going here. Always enjoy driving the Mazda. Even if uh, the races are pretty sketchy a lot of the time, no matter what series you're in when you're driving this thing. The end of the session. Peace. All right. So, ahead of quite a few people, but kind of like middle-ish. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> so, just gonna have to try to survive, I suppose. Not get into any intense battles right away if we can avoid it. If we can avoid it, probably can't. But. I just hope we live One to go. Next time by. at least long enough to get this video out. Close. Pit road is it's not really fun <laughs> once you get like one lap and get crashed right away. I could upload like a five minute video whenever that happens, but nah, I'd rather just uh, try it again. Upload that one if it goes a little bit better in terms of uh, actually getting some laps in. The thing is, with my internet, where I am, I can't upload a race and race at the same time. Not enough bandwidth, so if I am uploading a race while racing, this thing is freaking out, so can't do both at the same time. Like, uh, I know I hear Gavin saying, like, oh, I'm checking to see if the so-and-so race is uploaded, and he's like, nope, YouTube's still processing it, because that's what happens to him all the time. <laughs> And uh, he says that while in a race, and I just I can't do that. My internet will go to dog doo doo if I try to do that. So, all right. Hopefully, we will be able to get some space for the Mustangs. I hope the leader decides to leave some space. That would be nice. I think that would be useful if they start crashing. Especially because some of their times are not fantastic. My lap time is 
144.3, which is better than two and a half of their paces, <laughs> essentially, given around where they are. So, especially if they start crashing, kind of want some room for that to clear out before we start actually going. Then again, we don't have much time because we are starting halfway through the uh, course, which is nice. About to go green. We're just about to go pretty soon. Still feel like the get ready is a little bit early though, because we still have some time. Okay, in. Reminds me of Bristol. Doing old races. Seems like they're uh, always got the get get ready really early. Okay, that was a pretty smooth start. It's pretty good. Car right. Stay on the left. Miller is leading the race. Okay. Clear. Give room. Do you think too crazy? Remember, the tires are cold. We don't got anyone out there, do we? Yeah, just making sure. Single monitor here. We got space behind already. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's go. Mario, I see you out there. There's a guy blinking. I don't know if he exists still. I don't even know which car that was that was blinking. But, uh, hope I don't find out in the worst way anytime soon. Looks like that yellow one. It's going defensive for some reason. Promise you, I'm not going to pass you unless you make a mistake or something. I'd rather just keep up with everybody. We get the chat back on. I always forget to turn it back on. Stop car! I imagine it's probably a Mustang. Hello, Mustang. Ooh, almost a self spin from the 23. Looked like he was drifting through the corner. So far, so good. I haven't seen anything too dumb. From me or anyone else. Car is definitely a handful on the cold tires. But still feeling okay. What do I got the session vest up for? Let's get all time up. What the fuck, Jetta? That man is. Unhappy. P6. I will shift into third there because we have draft making us go that much faster. That guy is a problem with his internet connection. Looking like me half the time. I hope that gets figured out. I'm just kind of still taking it easy. I don't want to try to do anything too crazy, especially this early, especially with the tires not optimal, especially because that's not how I like to race. It's still taking that defensive line, and I wish you wasn't because it's just making us both slower. I don't want the guy behind to catch me. Not particularly interested in that. As soon as a guy catches you, that's whenever they decide. Oh, there's a gap. Gotta go for it. Ha 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 ha. Senna. And then you die. So. Car's feeling a little bit better. You got it, that guy's car is not feeling any better. That car is diseased now. Incident in first corner. I believe that was a spot, though. You're in fifth. That was I am in fifth, four, allegedly. Four, eight. Took that awkwardly, unfortunately. Oh, 
That goes off a little bit there. That's gonna hurt his runoff. Maybe we can get around him here. Car on your left. Keep to the right. There I go, taking that corner differently the than right. I always do again. We have the uh, preferred line here heading into this braking zone. But here's the draft. Be interesting to see how this plays out. Clear. Car on your left. Still there. Hold your line. Get room. Still there. Hold He's your line. He's unfortunately there, and this is a very bad place to be on the outside of. On the left. So give him millions of miles of room, so that we don't crash. Really wish he would have just let that go instead of wasting our time, but we're still back here now. Something's coming up here. Okay, there it is. Where he was going to be on the track. We are mired by Mustangs at the moment. Looks like the leaders are having a big headache. Stop me if you've heard that in the production car challenge before. Mouse is having issues with the uh, Mustangs. Blinking guy is causing a huge checkup, and I don't like it. Oh, thank God. Mustang's gone. Sorry to see it, but also not sorry to see it. Ah, yes, the defensive line again. Also known as the dive-in line. Tap on the right, buddy. Still there. Clear. Left side. Still there. Hold your line. I really wish this guy would not be here. He is holding me up so bad. Car on your left. Stay on the right. That's right, I'm diving in, because I'm sick of you. Still there. Hold your line. I'm the villain today. Deal with it. Keep to the right. Ah, oh, here he comes. Here we go again. You're going to do the same Still thing there. and lose a million miles. Can't tell that I'm faster than you. Stop on the left. Keep to the right. Car stop on the left. Go right. Oh, just give it up. Oh my god, he's right. not gonna give it up. Are you serious? Why are you doing this? What how does this benefit you? Clear on the left. Good lord, you're gonna fight me off for 18 and a half minutes? There's a group of faster cars behind. I just don't get it. I don't understand. Frustrating. It happens every single time, too. Every time. Yep, just miss your mark again. <laughs> yep, just overbreak the corner again. Jesus, why does this happen to me every time? I gotta qualify better or something. Take your defensive line, Alonzo. Jesus Christ. Now we're losing spots like always. I'm so tired of this. Keep to the left. Clear on the right. Watch how quickly we're gonna catch up to this guy. be on his bumper by the next corner, I guarantee you. I mean, part of it's draft, but... Fuck me, sorry, Aaron. Oh my god, this so Mustang. Sorry. Never mind. Mustang decided to join the race. Clear. Thank you, thank you, good job. The gap behind is now 0.8. <laughs> Use the mirror this time. <sighs> I can't wait for this Mustang to come dive bomb me again. That's going to be my favorite part of the race. I can't wait. At least we have some space right now. Here comes a Mustang. Jesus, I can't. Oh my god.
I'm so scared. I don't even want to have to be looking in my mirror right now, but I have to or else it's going to kill me. If I'm not careful. I know this song and dance. Be one thing if I knew he could get past me and then drive away, but he won't. I overdrove that. Can't wait for him to be in my way. Right side. Clear. Yeah, you're fast, aren't you? Go ahead. Go on, then. Gee, thanks for passing me and then parking it in front of me, Mustang. I really appreciate it. I'm such a jerk. I know. I'm sorry. I need to unbind my mic. I need to not ever talk again. <sighs> Just get so stressed when driving. It makes me a bad person. I'm not very nice. I think I just have to accept that. I'm not a nice person. The gap in front is now 2.0. Never get the illusion that I'm not a bad person. I'm a real jerk of the mic. I wish I would stop. But at least we're free of it. I don't know what happened to him, but... Now that we've got... Tires that are kind of not terrible now. Get some breathing room. Maybe we can catch up to the eight again. Hello, don't be an idiot. It's just I wish guys had some more thought before they went for a pass. Like, what's going to happen if I pass here? Well, we've got a couple technical corners ahead that the must is going to take much faster. Should I pass now? No, probably not. I should probably be patient and wait for a straightaway so I can get a little bit of distance before I do so. Nah, distance. it's like, Fuel car faster, me pass. That's kind of how it goes. And then accidents happen. Frequently. And no one ever learns. I complain so much. I'm so sorry. I'm having fun, by the way. I love racing the Mazda. I'm having a great time. But what else am I going to do but complain, I guess? <laughs> Road rage. It's what's for dinner. It's kind of figured it out, too. Maybe the pressure of me behind him was just causing him to uh, be a little slower. The draft was a little more powerful than I thought, but uh, he's got it figured out. So what was I even yelling about? I should be yelling at myself over driving corners. Hitting my marks just right, but try to get better about it. Still got plenty of time. He made it through that section much better than me. Mm -hmm. 
It's looking faster than I am. Got another Mustang coming up. The gap ahead is now Can... 2.0. Number oh 31, please, please, you're ruining my rate. <laughs> 31 still back there. Being annoying. That's crazy. At least it's not just me. But uh, anyway, we got a Mustang coming up. I hope that they're uh, smarter about how they're going to get around me, at least. I need to break sooner. I don't know. I, I'm taking that how I normally do, but I think maybe I'm just a little bit higher speed. I'm getting hint to draft and stuff. And I uh, just need to break a little sooner. Maybe I'm just not breaking hard enough. Not quite sure. Okay, but, Colton, uh, here comes the Mustang. Pass. Clear on the right. Ah, isn't this familiar? He made it through much better that time, though. Still not fast enough, but he's got his own race too. I respect that. Yeah, he wasn't so bad. Wow, windshield wipers. How fun. I hear there's an uh, an update coming pretty soon about rain and irising. As uh, as with everybody else, <laughs> I'm uh, waiting to see how that goes. Very interested in seeing what that looks like. Thank you. Mustang's parking it. Give me some draft. Give me some back here. Make this worth my time. But very interesting to see what rain looks like. Excited to uh, have to deal with treacherous conditions and have a fun time doing all that. So, be interested to see how it feels. I've never raced in the rain in any game, I don't think. I've hardly raced any other game except for old NASCAR Thunder games. <laughs> and I racing, obviously. So no experience in any game with rain. But it seems like it's quite the challenge. I'm looking forward to taking that on. Kinda babied it there. Thought I would have a lot more speed because of the draft, so I figured I would need to uh, break earlier, but it seemed like I overdid it. E4. Very nice race so far, though. There were frustrations, obviously, but we have not been run into or anything. A uh, large departure from last race, I think it was at where? Bolton Park? Was it? Is that where the last production car challenge was? Somewhere like that, one of the free tracks. I believe. There's an incident in Williams. Thanks, Mark. But uh, I remember getting like 16x in that race. Absolutely absurd. You've just done a 145.09. Try to follow. Let's go. Whoa. Almost went too far. My tire like, got destroyed on that one. Man, even with this draft, the guys I had are driving away. I'm just not fast enough. It's like we are P4 speed. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> there are other people getting 16x, I think. <laughs> I guess something I can talk about right now is uh, Nick started a race. It was his 87 Legends race at Auto Club. Um, talking about different uh, YouTube uploaders. And I thought I would mention that just uh, during the race here while we have some time. Um, it was a very nice uh, little conversation. He talked about how... You know, there are lots of uh, different YouTubers out there right now who all have their different styles and motivations for racing. They even mentioned me, that was really cool of them. Bring me up and, you know, mention Gavin and, uh, You've used half your fuel. 
some other guys and stuff. And uh, I just wanted to agree with them. It's very cool having so many different guys uploading their races, giving their perspectives of races. And one of my favorite things is to just see a name in my YouTube recommendations, like a guy's name I recognize on the track, and being like, hey, I didn't know they had a YouTube channel, and going and checking it out, and maybe even seeing myself in one of their races, and kind of getting their view on races they've been in. If I had all the time in the world, I would definitely be watching them all and commenting on them, but I have to, like, go to work or whatever, do a job and get money to do this hobby. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Boring. But if I had all the time in the world, I would love to comment and check them all out and everything. But uh, I just, I agreed with him. It's very cool having all the different perspectives, and he encouraged people to check them out, which is... Really cool of him to do, to use his platform to do that, to mention people. Because it's something I definitely agree with. Love watching all the YouTubers that do iRacing, big or small. And there's always stuff to learn, too, from everybody. So, I just wanted to mention that, because I liked that conversation. The country of right. is now. We are continuing to lose to the guys ahead, but don't think we have much to worry about behind us. I haven't really been looking at it, though. 3.4 behind, maybe I should keep that in the back of my mind. Car's kind of tight. I'm a little surprised. It almost feels like the rookie Mazda set up right now. Like, it's not turning very well anymore. That's a little concerning. Very different from the start of the race where I was trying to oversteer a whole bunch. Do you like how I use oval terms and road racing terms interchangeably? Like, oh yeah, I was really loose, but now I'm understeering. <laughs> like, it's like when you speak multiple languages or something and you're like, Say a sentence with words from both language in it. <laughs> hmm. Move. Quick and to the point. I like how that's like a, a quick chat too. Like, presumably, he sat down at some point. And type that in really as a quick Javier, response. Really, You're 14 seconds behind third, and you got nobody behind you. I think you can just about hold on and wait. <laughs> Sounds like it's not even justified either. But uh, I like how he presumably sat down and thought I should bind a message that indicates that I am trying to overtake. How will I say it? Will I take the time to type out a polite response? No, I'm just gonna say move! <laughs> Exclamation point. Because I doubt he's typing that out while he's driving. Because I saw him uh, earlier in the race say the exact same thing. I highly doubt he's typing that out. It's presumably a quick message. So he, he decided, he premeditated his rudeness. <laughs> just, uh, just an observation there. These guys are having a good race, so I am going to uh, be, try to be considerate about how I overtake here. Looks like I should be able to clear. Car on your left. Clear. Slow car ahead. First corner. Yellow flag. Watch out. Oh my god. That sure was a Mustang. I didn't handle that overtake very well. I will say that. Um, I meant for it to stick better than it did. Overdrove it and I kind of got in his way on exit and I feel bad about that. Should have handled that a little bit better, but could have been handled worse too, I guess. I'm starting to catch up to the gate. I think they got caught behind some uh, solstices a little worse than we did. I'm not too eager about it though, because I know he's actually probably faster than I am. So, I'm not gonna let my eyes get too wide on that one. Ooh, 
Ugh. Car's so tight. <gasps> Leader of the Solstice is here. I'll be very careful around them. Wasn't sure if he was letting me go. I'll be patient. Okay. Lost some time there, but I definitely did not want to hurt his race or push him off or anything awful. So, gotta put my steering wheel where my mouth is and not be the Mustang driving up hard on people. I actually don't have very much experience being in that position in multi-class racing, actually. Because these races are usually so chaotic, <laughs> you never actually come up on people that are, like, hard... in hard battles and stuff. It feels like I never actually end up in that situation, like, coming up on the solstices like that. Plus, half the time, when I'm racing, there's not even any other classes in here. It's like a couple Mustangs, and then all the other classes are vacant. <laughs> so... I could be, uh, I do need more experience with that, so I can be better at it. As much as I criticize other people, I have to be aware that <laughs> it's not easy. And, uh, it does take careful planning on how you plan on planning to plan plan, on how you choose to, uh, overtake someone, when, and how. Multi-class racing is a, a unique challenge. You're around other guys of completely different speeds and handling capabilities. But it looks like we're going to pull this in to a P4 as we are on the last lap. It was a nice race. You know what? That was not nearly as chaotic as it usually is. We pull it into a clean fourth place finish. I needed that. I've been kind of messy lately. <laughs> or been in messy races. Or both lately. So Nice to get a 0x. And, uh, P4. Okay. Finish so this one out. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Sting is going very slow. Good job. <laughs> Guys are parking it. I would like to uh, race just a little bit. Do a few more corners as guys are finishing. Do a little bit of a cool down. How much fuel did I have? What a race. I had plenty of fuel left. Good man. Daniel. Maybe could have taken nice one, Daniel. a little bit of fuel out, but. Let's get in a few uh, more corners. There we go. Race over officially now. We'll give it the old parky do. <laughs> and uh, we'll go ahead and head straight to the incidents. Like I said, that was very nice. That was actually not too bad. Had a little bit of frustration with the Mustangs, but that's usually going to happen. And uh, not too bad. We moved forward quite a bit. We moved up. What is that? Four, six spots? After not a great qualifying effort, so. But, pretty good. Let's uh, go ahead and check it out. Check out the messes. What people are all up in arms about. Oh, we have a cold tire wreck ahead and it causes a bit of a pile up. That's a shame. That's the kind of thing I'm kind of expecting. <laughs> to potentially happen any time I hop into one of these races. Always has that potential with the uh, open setup. Got a blinking guy. I don't know we're going to see a lot of him. Huh? There's the Mustang self-spinning. I remember that. He almost considered pulling out in front of everybody. That stinks. He has to sit there a long time. Mr. Pillsbury gets smashed into by a Jetta. I remember him yelling at him for that. And then he has to take the pit lane. Oh no. Might have some guys with penalties back there. A little bit of a rear ending there as they were kind of playing who's going to take the defensive line entering turn one there. Mamma mia, Mario. 
Oh no. Do 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 do. Lost a life. There's a Mustang still spinning. This Mustang finishes ahead of us though. Still got guys uh, having trouble. Lap three, tires are still not perfect yet. Makes sense. There's a guy taking the defensive line ahead of us and dooring the other guy. See, I think the eight was just having trouble figuring out and driving around other people. Once he was alone, he was actually faster than us, I think, but he was frustrating me with his defensive lines and holding us up so bad. Maybe I should have just gone on mic and saying, like, hey, I'm not going to try to overtake you. But uh, because he was being defensive and annoying the bejeebus out of me, I did try to overtake him. Funny how that works. There. That's not going to do too much. There's... Oh my gosh, shooting the middle three wide. Oh wow, what a mess. There's like a thousand different things happening in that corner. Flintstones, is he backing into the racing line with people coming? No, it's good. <laughs> Coast is clear. Here's the Mustang being a problem. Yeah, that's exactly what he did to me. He decides I have to pass right now and then absolutely just <laughs> smashes the brakes right in front of someone. That's exactly what he did to me. Thanks. <laughs> ah, boy. And he's just gonna keep doing it. I presume he's not learning anything. Because it wasn't the first time he did it in a race. Oh my gosh. A gaggle of geese. <laughs> what? It's because of this Mustang. I swear to you, all these guys are all piled up right here because they're having to navigate around this Mustang, who's just, like the guy said, ruining their race. Everyone's have getting, like, overtaken on the straightaways by this Mustang who's dirt slow in the corners. <laughs> and then they're getting in this huge, just, tumorous wad of cars. It's a big hair, hair wad clogging the drain. Sorry, that's kind of gross. But, you know, so is what the Mustang's doing to all the <laughs> Mazdas there. Pretty gross. Oh, hello, crowd. Mustang just <laughs> completely driving over that other Mustang. Or the other uh, Mazda. Because, again, this Mustang... Causing a blockage. Oh, that's terrible netcode. I like how this guy's arguing with someone in the PMs, but, like, not using the PMs, presumably because they don't know how, and so it looks like they're arguing with, them with themselves. But this is terrible, that code. Excuse me. They might have gotten into each other still, but that's unfortunate. Bunch of check up into that corner. Everyone running into the back of one another. 31. Doing that. Doing that thing. Wow. Just. <laughs> I'm glad that he suffered more than the Mario guy. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say. Because it was absolutely him that just completely got in the way. They are brawling back here. This is full contact racing. You know they're frustrated with each other. Mario's doing a good job of holding his line, though. The other guy, maybe not as much. Of course, I'm only seeing a small snippet, but... Mario made the pass again there real clean. Mustang self-spins. Sorry, you don't have the excuse to pull tires anymore. It's left 12. Is that guy's last name Dinner? Cool. Gets back door there. This thing's having trouble. Ooh. 
That corner's causing a lot of trouble. It typically does. Okay, maybe the, it wasn't just the Mustang causing these guys to all be in a big wad, because they are all on top of each other still. Solstice goes... Okay. <laughs> so the Solstice goes off there, and he's thinking, Oh no, I'm going to be way off pace, i got to let this guy by. But the problem is, the way he lets him by is by slamming on the brakes right in front of him. So, not the way you want to do that. If uh, you're a slower class and you're trying to let someone by... Either A, just take your line or really, like, let them know, and then take an exaggerated outside line or something. Like, there's, you gotta do it better than that. The, the bottom line is be predictable, but I'm sure you've heard that a million times. Anyway, that's it. We got P4, the, the uh, Mazdas. Pretty happy with that, because uh, qualifying wasn't all that great. So, happy to move forward. We uh, finished, what, overall eighth? Pretty good. Um, four of those Mustangs ahead of us, and uh, probably one of the few clean guys in the race. Sure looks like it. Had a couple, not too bad. And then we had these guys. <laughs> so, glad we weren't one of these guys this time. We were last time. This time we were a little bit better. A little bit cleaner, and it was nice to get that for once. So, that'll do it. Thank you for watching, I appreciate you. And I hope you enjoyed watching some more Production Card Challenge and all the chaos that provides. Um, though a little less this time. It was pretty nice. So, hope you have a good one. I'll see you next time. And uh, that'll do it.